Metman 2006 here with the updated uh, Sony um, review of the Sony FDR AX700. Now, I did go to the zoo last week. That video just got up yesterday or two days ago. Um, not many views yet, but I'm hoping that more views, video views come from that video. Um, but during that video, I found out a few things about the Sony. And today, I'm going to talk about it. And I also have some updates on the other camera, which I'll be shooting as well today. Um, so, when I was at the zoo, I noticed, um, n n normally, when I'm doing a video, um, it's, you see it's an automatic right here, right? Well, I was doing videos, and, and this has been whole throughout the whole season for the falls, or the spring as well. Um, that you, when you zoom in... It, you have to automatically focus it. It's just, uh, so you automatically have to do it. Well, not anymore, guys. There's a button here <laughs> that I didn't realize that is AF and manual. With the camera on, if you hit that button, it's automatic. There's two buttons on this camera. You have to have both automatic. So once I hit that button, now there's a box around the, the video screen, and you zoom in, and it will actually automatically focus. If I did not do it in that mode, there's no box, and if I zoom in to that same exact spot, it blurs, unless I focus it. Now you can't see that, but... So if I zoom in to that birdhouse back there, Where's that birdhouse? That birdhouse. Right there. See how it blurs? Well, I'm hand holding it. But if I hit that button, it automatically focuses as well. So you could be in shooting. I think you can do it in shooting. Well, let's try that out. Yes, yeah, so I haven't even tested that out. So, I'm videoing. And I hit that button. Yep, you can. So you can do it during the video, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, this camera is great now since I know there's automatic, so I don't have to keep on focusing it, which is good. Um, but overall, this camera's been great. I've had no issues with it. Um, the 4K video on here is great. The only, like I said, the only thing I don't like is the photos in, at the same time. But I might be getting another camera at some point to help with the photo expert of it. If I want to stay Sony, you know what I mean? I know I love the Panasonics. The Panasonics are great, but the Sony has really good image stabilizing in there as well. So, you know, we'll have to see what happens. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, in automatic, it automatically does it for you. So you don't, you can't actually do it there. So, yeah, it's, 4K is very good on this camera. But yeah, the, the, the video on here is great. Um, it's just awesome to see the quality of the photo, even in 4K. Um, the, the quality is just outrageous on this camera. Um, the zoo video, um, like I said, that was one of my first main videos um, that will show you different views of both cameras. Both of the videos were shot in 4K, so the quality is the same. The only thing is, at the zoo, I didn't know about this until the end of the zoo trip. So, at the end of the zoo, I found out about that. Um, so it was kind of, you know, if I knew that before, I wouldn't have not have, maybe some of the, the videos would not have been blurred as they were because I didn't know about the photo thing. I mean, about the, the autofocus thing. That's right here on the front. You hit that button once, it's automatic. I don't know how I didn't know that at all. But um 
yeah, the video on here is great. You know, it takes a minute. So it takes a minute to actually focus on what you're videoing. But besides that, it's a great camera. You know, the photo thing is nice. Like I said, I did, um, I don't know if I told you this. I have preset the number six right here for photos. So I hit that button. Now it's in photo mode. And again, you can take, you know, a few hundred photos with the, with it. And I think if you hit the on Wait, even more for photos? Sweet. So, yeah. You can take lots of pictures, too. Yeah, I mean, that's unheard of with this camera. One more button hit, and it goes back to video. So. I like the, the automatic, you know. But yeah, so um, that's this is that's gonna be this video, this really uh, quick video for you on on the news that more improved about the Sony RFD or no, it's RDR AX 700 camcorder from Sony, and I love the camera. I mean, maybe I do. There's nothing I can say that is bad about it. The only thing that is bad about it is the photos and videos at the same time. That's the only thing I can say. The video is very clean, crisp. Now, since I know about that automatic button, um, you know, hitting that one button right there makes it a lot easier now to use. So expect a lot more. Now, I don't know with the with the fall sports if I'll be shooting 4K because of how many sports there are, how long it took for each sport to get uploaded for the for the. the the spring was really, I mean, I got them up. Um, I might also not upload them right away, too. So, they may be, you know, video edited after, like, a month later. I don't know. Let's see um, if I want to upload them right away or how I'm going to do it. But there will be more videos about that as the season gets closer, obviously. You know, the season just ended for the spring. Fall won't be until, like I said, September. So we got a few months before that starts back up. Um, but until my next video, which will be shot with this camera next, um, I'm going to do a little video on this camera now. Until my next video. I'm going to have to say, bye bye for now.